Hello friends, I'm Amelia and welcome to My Frugal Life. Today is a very dark and dreary day so the lighting is not going to be great unfortunately. There's also like a dripping sound in my house and I don't know where it's coming from which is slightly worrying. Kids are currently having their little bit of screen time before we go out today and we are coming up to the beginning of our homeschooling season. We tend to do homeschooling 365 days of the year, we don't really have a break. But what happens is when we finish our curriculum that we are currently on, or the one that we're using for that year, we still do things every day, but it's a lot less and a bit more chilled while I get everything prepared for the next school year. So we are coming up to that and we have a homeschooling table that I'm gonna show you. It's like a homeschooling unit that has all of our stuff on, all of our supplies and resources are on this unit and we are very much outgrowing it. So this is the unit we have or have used. Can you see it's got all of our like pens and our resources, some paper, and then underneath is all of our curriculum and a random board game. That is all of our like general day-to-day -day resources, like the curriculums that we use. That does not include all of our homeschooling games and a lot of other products that we use within our homeschooling. Now that we've been homeschooling for a few years, I'm understanding what I need, what I'm understanding what works well for us, and I'm figuring out the type of homeschooling that we are now, or home educating, because we're in the UK, it should be home educating. Um, home educating path we are starting to take. And we are wanting to get a unit that is able to store all of our homeschooling games and our books and all of our re resources in one place, right by the kitchen table where we do all of our lessons, um, so that we can just grab things and go really easily. I have been scouring Facebook Marketplace now for months to try and find what we want. However, the units that I like are all really expensive. Um, like three, four hundred pounds second hand for the type of units that I like. So, from the name of my channel, you know I'm frugal and I am not willing to pay that much money, as well as I do not have that much money just to spend on a cabinet. So, we are doing a makeshift DIY here. I have bought this unit for 30 pounds off Facebook Marketplace. It's great, it's got loads of storage in there and it's got two of these cupboards. We, in this, we're going to be able to fit all of our curriculum. Although it's perfect size, it's not really my taste. So I'm going to be doing a DIY reno on this, like upcycle project. And it's probably gonna look somewhat similar. We're gonna, the plans are to take the doors off and paint the outside a mushroom kind of color. That's kind of a cross between a white, gray and brown type of color. It's really hard to describe, but that's the plan. We're gonna get new door knobs and maybe stain the doors so they're a bit more of a natural color and not as orangey. That's the plan. I'm gonna head out to Wilco now or in the next few days to get the bits that I need. I will show you what I've bought and how much it costs me and we're gonna get this project underway. If the upcycle project goes well, the next plan is potentially to do a DIY upcycle on the kitchen. There's nothing insanely wrong with the kitchen. It is old. I think it's about a 15 year old kitchen. Um, and it was cheap uh, when we moved in. It was in really good condition, but it's just old and dated. And we have a family that use our kitchen a lot because we cook everything from scratch. And we don't, like we're cooking all the time. So if the, if it goes well on the DIY unit, we are going to hopefully try and DIY this kitchen and put, put like new wrap countertops on, paint the kitchen cupboards and get matching to the unit and get matching handles. The plan is to probably get some new, like some stickers for these tiles. Uh, they're gonna be like a Moroccan type thing. It's also gonna just hopefully add in a bit of color into the house. So that's, we're only gonna do this if this upcycle project goes well. I am not a natural with DIYs. I'm not very patient. Um, I'm patient with children, but things like DIY projects, I do not have the patience for. Joel is a lot more patient with these things, but I'm determined to learn to do it. So I'm gonna go buy the things that we need. We need to get primer and paint, and we're gonna see how this goes. So I will check back in with you once I've bought the bits that I need, 
and we'll see how this goes. Wish me luck. Been to Wilco today. We've gotten the things that we need to for the unit upcycle project. I don't think I've got everything I need because I'm going to wait and do the majority and see what the doors look like compared to that first. And that will make me decide what colour I'm going to do for the rest of it. So, oh, we're going to be making my pie now. So, I've gotten roller, paintbrushes, a all purpose primer, and this perfectly greyish, which is a terrible name. I'm going to set you up, I'm going to start cleaning the unit and then hopefully put a layer of primer on um, and we'll see how we go. The playroom is a mess but this is the most open place we can, I can do this because the doors and the windows can be opened. I've taken off all the doors and I'm going to plonk them on here for now and then we're going to get cracking cleaning and priming the first layer. <laughs> Then tomorrow we're going to probably put another layer of primer on and then we'll start on the actual colour. So let's give this a good old clean. just woken up as you can tell by all of this um, I'm feeling very tired and I've got a sore throat so yeah, it's gonna be an interesting day because I've got a lot to do but yesterday I put on a layer of primer that, as you saw and then I went out with one of my homeschool mums to plan some things for the new school year and when I came back Joel had actually put on the second layer of primer so we currently have two layers of primer already on that means I get to put on the first layer of actual paint uh, the kids are having their screen time at the moment, so I'm going to put that on now um, so that we can hopefully get two layers done today. Uh, let me show you how it's looking at the moment with, uh, with just the primer on. So that is how we're looking at the moment. The doors are still over there. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do with the doors, but I'm going to get the actual colour on that we want and see how it turns out. <laughs> crazy day in the end. I was filming putting the doors on 
and then we realized the doors just didn't look quite right they had like an orangey color that we weren't a fan of so we ended up going to the shop and getting some wood, it's called stain mm -hmm. some wood stain um i've kind of tried to resurrect it and we think it's looking okay joel's currently putting on the doors now we also ret uh, returned the handles i originally bought and swapped them out for these cute pineapple handles so we're now putting the doors on putting the pineapple handles on and we're going to see what it looks like and i'll show you at the end and i'll figure out how much we spent on everything So yesterday you saw me put the layer of paint on the unit and then I ended up having a bit of a stressful rest of the day because when we put the cupboards back on they just didn't look right so I ended up going with Joel to b and and we got some stain for the doors to try and make the doors look just a bit better and we also got some door handles so we have now completed the unit it unfortunately doesn't look as good as what i was imagining in my head i still feel like it looks way better and we've still saved money compared to if we had bought something that we originally wanted to get and we have loads of paint left which we can use if we decide to do the kitchen but although how much it cost us is probably a bit more than i want to spend we can reuse a lot of the stuff we've got for when we do the kitchen so let me go through how much everything costs first so the unit cost us 30 pounds then you saw that i bought these two paints from wilco you had the primer which i think is about we used about a third so we've still got loads of the primer left for when we do the kitchen and we bought this paint which i've realized is probably the wrong paint i didn't want is that big thing i didn't want the chalky paint it was meant to be um probably the satin so that I didn't I don't have to put a wax layer on top unfortunately I didn't realize until after I started to use this so the top of the unit still is quite chalky and we probably will at some point need to put some oil or wax at the top so that it doesn't scratch so they're the bits that you saw that I bought I also bought a roller and paint brushes and then the next day we went to the B&Q and we bought this wood stain to try and get rid of the orange tinge that was on the cabinet door. So altogether we spent 30 pounds on the unit, 13 pounds on the wood stain, so we're at 43. And then we spent at Wilco, is this the right receipt? Including the paint brushes, the roller, we spent 25 pounds. Altogether we spent about 68 pounds on this project. Oh no, because we had the door handles as well. They were another seven pounds. So altogether we ended up spending 75 pounds altogether. So I'm gonna show you the unit now. So this is how it's turned out. As you can see, I've already put all of our footwork in there. We've got, the top is, they call it a grayish. It's like a mushroom color. It's not coming up amazingly well on camera. Got a lovely sunflowers that my friend bought me. This is what the wood ended up looking at. And these are the cute little pineapple handles that we ended up buying. I think they're super cute. So this is what we have ended up with. It's a lot more rustic than I originally thought, but I think I like that. And then inside we have our homeschool board games and our curriculums are in this side here i've learned that i am not amazing at diy i do not have that much patience but i think it still looks better than what it did do i think it was worth the amount yes because if i were to buy anything like this it still would have been a lot more money 
I hope you enjoyed this very crazy, weird upcycle video. Don't be really taking tips from me. I'm not gonna be one of those channels where I teach people to upcycle, obviously. I feel like it's done the job. It's probably not as good as I was ever envisioning. Um, you win some, you lose some. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe for more frugal hints and tips. If you would like a homeschool tour of our cabinets where you, I can show you everything that's in here, then let me know down below if you'd like to know what curriculums we use, um, all of our resources and supplies that we have, then I'm more than happy to film a what's inside this cupboard video. Uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day, friends, and I'll see you soon. Bye.